we'll now move ahead and you know discuss about the system registers and get an idea as to what these are uh, obviously you know as you can see on your screen uh, this is well section 4.3 of the document and uh, there are many system registers right and uh, the explanation of for what they do is also given right the description is given here and well which el are they allowed in well that is kind of you know explained on the rightmost uh, column okay but what are these so there are certain registers that influence uh, the the behavior of the cpu in terms of its functionality in uh, well in terms of like its configuration and its capabilities right so for example if we scroll down here there is this system control register sctlr and you know there are these various bits within the cpu uh, or this register that kind of control those features and you know you can go into the details of these but uh, one uh, example that i want to cite is for example you know if the zeroth bit here of this um, uh, uh, sctlr is enabled then that would essentially translate into the memory management unit being enabled right and uh, what is memory management unit uh, well the, you know that is kind of out of the scope of uh, the discussion we are having here but it's exactly the unit that uh, or exactly that piece of hardware that kind of you know control uh, converts the virtual address into physical address um, and you know we can dive into the details of this as part of the memory model uh, but right now uh, the intention is to demo to you that the system control register is where such kind of CPU features can be enabled, right? Now, what you what you see here uh, is, you know, the, all right, just a moment, yes. So what you see here is, uh, you know, the same register um, as it is available in different ELs, right? So the same register exists in EL1 el2 and el3 notice that it doesn't exist in el0 because in el0 recall you have the applications running and you don't want the application to be able to configure some of the cpu feature right because uh, that's a that's a way in which you're giving away control of the hardware to the application and now you know some uh, malicious actor uh, someone with bad intentions can write an app that can you know screw up the state of your cpu you don't want that so EL1 and you know upwards uh, execution level have access to the uh, system control uh, register and also the registers, uh, the bits and the features controlled are different. So for example, these two bits here are available in uh, system control you know, when accessed from the EL1, uh, but these are not present when accessed from EL2 and EL3, right? Similarly, you know, this bit right here uh this this so on and so forth and again you know uh, what these bits are you can read up here uh, but the idea was the system registers and the system control register as an example uh was to kind of you know that the idea was that uh, there are certain registers which control uh, the cpu the features of the cpu uh, in the next one what we can do is we can take a look at you know few other usual special purpose registers like the program counter the status registers and so on and so forth and uh, hopefully towards the end we would have uh, you know a good idea of which registers to keep in mind to be useful on a team so i'll catch you in the next one